There are four types of control systems that can be used to shift web material while it is being processed. These systems are the unwind guide, the displacement guide, the steering guide, and the rewind guide. The unwind guide. This guide actually moves the unwinding roll to shift the material to a fixed desired position with regard to the machine that the web is entering. One use of this guide is to compensate for inaccurate placement of the roll on the unwind shaft. It also compensates for variations of the material on the roll, such as when the material has telescoped or where there are splice shifts. An idler roller is typically attached to the unwind stand to eliminate web plane change as the web is removed from the unwind roll. The sensor is fixed to the stationary machine and installed immediately downstream of the idler roll attached to the unwind stand. The displacement guide. This two roller or single roller guide is used in situations where span length is relatively short. In order for the guide to work properly, there must be a fixed roller before the guide and one after the guide. The sensor is placed in the web span between the last shifting roller and the first non-shifting roller after the guide and in the first one-third of the span. Typically, each of the three spans, entry to displace span, displace span, and displace to exit span, should be greater than one width of the web. Displacement guides are typically used in a twist-displace-twist configuration. The twist can occur within a U pattern, which sends the material back the way it came, or in a Z pattern, in which the material continues in the same direction that it was traveling before displacement. Displacement guides are considered simple and relatively trouble-free ways to control position within your web. The steering guide. This guide is typically a single roller that is used at the end of long free spans. The steering guide bends the web in the entry span to compensate for web errors that have accumulated to the point of the guide. A steering guide is not a good solution for short spans since the bending action can create too much stress on the material. The long span where a steering guide is placed is divided into three shorter spans by the introduction of the guide. These spans are known as the pre-entry span, the entry span, and the exit span. The most desirable steering guide installation creates a web exit span perpendicular to the plane of motion of the steering guide. The rewind guide. This is not web guiding, but is actually web chasing. The sensor is installed immediately upstream of the last fixed idler in the process. The sensor is typically attached to the rewind stand. The web is allowed to wander upstream of the last fixed idler. The control system causes the sensor to chase the web. As a result, the rewind guide is always positioned directly behind the wandering web. The last fixed idler must have sufficient web wrap and web to idler traction that the movement of the rewinder is isolated from the web upstream of the last fixed idler. Contact Fife for more information about what type of web guiding to employ in your system.